Evening. How is everybody? First question. Alright, Paul. Uh, you can give the praise on your team before the game there, saying how good they were. Uh, do you reckon that made them complacent in the game? No, I mean, there's, there's no harm in giving your team confidence. I mean, look, we, we, we just beat England, didn't we? Um, you know, and we went out there and battered England. So, you know, I, I've said it numerous times and I don't really need to like the class of the players it speaks for themselves and I don't understand why why telling players that they're good would make them complacent they know that they're good they know that you know we're probably the best team in the competition but we're, we're yeah we we don't see complacency um in a result against Norway who also were uh, top of the group joined top of the group uh, with ourselves so for me I don't see how um we show complacency by getting a draw. I mean, they set up and parked the bus while we went on the attack the whole game, you know. Uh, especially at the end, you know, when we got the goal, you could tell that they were fuming because th they were terrified that we were going to get a second goal. So, no, I didn't feel like we were complacent whatsoever. I thought we just dominated the game. That's what you're supposed to do is dominate the game, isn't it? Paul, people were claiming you were playing for the draw. Is this true? We were playing for the draw. How 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 were we playing for the draw? We were the only ones attacking. You know, I I don't remember Darren Randolph having a save to make. You know, from 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 the Norwegians. So I don't see how you could say that we're playing for the draw. Same with this moron up here. Like saying we're complacent. How how are we complacent? You know, you're saying we're playing for a draw. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, we, we go out and we play our game and teams set up, you know, in the low block. And then when, when we get our goal, it's from breaking the lines. Alan Brown gets in over the top and smashes it in in the 86th minute. But before that was all us. They had one lucky chance and they took it because Seamus Coleman fell over in the box. You know, in my opinion, it should have been a free out, but, you know, that's just my opinion. And uh, I think, you know, VAR should have really came in to check there, but... Unfortunately for us, it didn't. And we just had to, you know, we, we, we had to face adversity and, and we did and, and we, we faced it full on and, and we got our goal. So I, I, I'm, I'm very happy with our performance, yeah. The uh, equaliser by Brown, it looked like you were kind of were on the defensive foot um, for the last couple of minutes of the game. At that point, were you just happy to run away with the draw? What, what, what is this thing about us playing for a draw? We didn't play for a draw. We went for we went for the win. We got the goal and we went straight on the attack. If you look back at the highlights, you know you clearly didn't look at them. You clearly didn't watch the game. If that's how you felt, I mean, who who who's feeding you these reports? Because it's it's absolute nonsense what you're coming out with. Like, come on, you know, if you're gonna come in here and ask me questions about the game, at least watch the game. Do your homework. With uh, Norway just beating Turkey four one before this game, how confident are you that? You can go to Turkey, get a result, and progress to the next stage. I guarantee you we're going to go to Turkey and get a result. You know, I think we'll beat them by more than four goals. Because we're better than Norway. And I think that England are going to beat Norway too. So, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm sick of this superiority factor that the, the people from Norway seem to think they have over Ireland. I just, I don't get it. I mean... They barely had a chance of note, and we battled them. And people are saying they're favourites to top the group, and Ireland should be favourites to top the group. We beat England, uh, we drew with Norway now, and we go to Turkey, who are probably the weakest team in the group after Norway, of course. Has the draw against Norway had any effect on morale or confidence going into the next game? Why? What's this focus on the fact that we drew? Did we lose the game? We drew the game. We didn't lose. We drew the game. So why would it affect anyone's morale? Have you ever played football? Have you ever put football boots on? Or goalie gloves? Or shin pads? Have you? I didn't think so. Ridiculous questions. I'll wait till we get Barney in from Norway. Come on, Barney. Hi, Paul. There has been talk about a handball in the lead up to your equaliser. What uh, do you have to say about this? Handball. 
are, are you are you serious? Go watch the highlights. How is that handball? Do you not do, uh, do you know anything about football? Do you know do you know anything? <sighs> Next question. Paul Nealon is a bluffer. Respond. Who said that? I'm a bluffer. Uh, obviously one of them Cork reporters. Surprised they're not talking about Adam Brown or someone else now. Every time they talk about someone, it's about a Cork player. Someone from Cork. No one cares about Cork. Well, the Norwegian manager has stated in his post-match conference that Alan Brown, who actually went on to score the match equaliser, has should have been sent off for an earlier tackle in the game. What do you have to say on this? Alan Brown doesn't even make tackles. He's not that type of player. He doesn't make tackles. He gets the ball down, he makes runs in behind and smashes the ball top corner. As I'm sure you're well aware by now, seeing as you're from Norway. You can see the post-match conference on the Norwegian Football Association website. He has stated that Alan Brown, who should have been sent off earlier in the game, without a doubt... No, he shouldn't. Straight red card. No, it wasn't. For me, I find it very disrespectful that my sources you are stating are incorrect. I don't care. You have no idea. I don't care. Your sor- your sources are inaccurate, and your so- clearly your sources, just like you, don't understand football. Y- y- you've no realization of how the game is played. If if you think that that's a red card. You know, you, I, I would take up another job if I was you. You shouldn't be reporting on this game. It's not something that, it's, it's just not for you. I don't know how any respected outlet would hire you to report for them. Do you think this is funny? Yeah, I do, yeah. I come here to do my job, and now you are disrespecting me. You disrespected me. That is very fair. But you disrespected me. The Norwegian manager, what he has said was correct. And also was very, very, very true. The style of play is very boring. That is her opinion. Well, he can have his opinion because he's an actual football manager. He might not have a clue, but he's an actual football manager. Whereas you, you can't say my style of play is boring. Your style of reporting is boring. So, if you feel offended by that, well, then you can understand how I feel when you say my style of play is boring because you clearly haven't got a clue. That's and that's and that's it. I don't know what more you you want me to say about Barney. I mean, I think your questions are ridiculous. You know, before the game, you told me we weren't going to get a result. You told me Norway were better, and now look at you. Now you're now we drew with you, and he's played parking the bus, and now you're trying to say that we were this inferior team here, which is is, is nonsense. You know, nonsense. Firstly. I think you have a vendetta against me because I think you understand or maybe you believe that Norway, we have a better chance of winning the competition than Ireland. Now Barney, and we told you already, we've beaten England, we drew with Norway and we're going to go to Turkey and beat them. When we do that, we're going to be into the quarterfinal. We don't need to worry about Norway. You can keep coming into these press conferences and keep trying to annoy me all you want. But at the end of the day, results speak for themselves. And you have to go to England and get a result. So we'll let you focus on that. We'll let you focus on England. Don't worry about us. We'll worry about us. Yeah, all right. I'm out, guys. Listen, it's been fantastic talking to you as well, all right? Another point in my pocket.